is Akashwani, the news read by Abhishek Mukhopadhyay. Nine children have died and several others injured after a wall collapsed at a temple in Madhya Pradesh's Sagar district this morning. The tragic incident took place during a religious ceremony at Hardol Baba Temple in Shahapur. The injured children have been hospitalized. Deepak Arya, collector Sagar, has informed that all the debris have been removed from the site of the incident. Chief Minister Mohan Yadav expressed deep condolences for the families who have lost innocent children. Chief Minister announced ex gratia compensation of 4 lakh rupees each by the government to the families of the deceased children. President Draupadi Murmu will be on a three-nation visit to Fiji, New Zealand and Timor-Leste. Beginning the first leg of this visit, President Murmu will depart from New Delhi to Nadi in Fiji later this evening. A correspondent covering the visit has reported that the President will hold bilateral meetings and will interact with Indian diaspora in Fiji, New Zealand and Timor-Leste. President Murmu's three-nation visit is expected to give further impetus to India's Act East policy and reaffirm India's special focus on Southeast Asia and the Pacific region. The two-day conference of governors concluded at Rashtrapati Bhavan yesterday. President Draupadi Murmu lauded the collective efforts of the governors to have comprehensive discussions in the spirit of mutual learning. In her closing remarks, she appreciated that various groups of governors came out with the valuable ideas and suggestions to improve the functioning of the office as well as for the welfare of the people. Addressing the concluding session, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar said, the governors should not hesitate in seeking information and maintaining sustained communication with their respective state governments for effective functioning. In his address, Prime Minister Narendra Modi urged the governors to embrace technology in the functioning and promote digitization. After the perusal of all the reports presented by the groups of governors, Union Home Minister Amit Shah appreciated the efforts and pointed out that all actionable points would be taken up to make the functioning of the governors and the Raj Bhavans more effective. In Chandigarh, Home Minister, Home Minister Amit Shah will inaugurate the e-evidence Nyai Setu and Nyai Shruti and e summon systems built to augment a criminal justice apparatus. He will also inaugurate the 24-7 water supply project under the Smart City Mission in Mani Majara. A fire broke out in Korba Vishakapatnam Express train halted in Vishakapatnam railway station this morning. The accident occurred shortly after the Korba Vishakapatnam Express arrived at the station on platform number 4. AC coaches B2, B7 and M1 were caught in the fire. The fire reportedly started near the M1 coach and spread from there. Smoke filled the platform. After the fire broke out, the officials responded promptly and sent the passengers out. Five personnel are extinguishing the fire. A huge threat was averted as the authorities responded immediately. Officials said no casualties were reported. In Uttar Pradesh, seven people were killed and 35 others were seriously injured after a bus fell off the Agra Lucknow Expressway in Itawa district. The accident happened after the bus collided with a car. The accident took place last night on the Agra Lucknow Expressway in Itawa near channel number 129. India Meteorological Department IMD has forecast extremely heavy rainfall over West Madhya Pradesh and East Rajasthan today. It has attributed such a strong weather condition to a low pressure area formed over Southwest Rajasthan and its neighborhood. The search operation for missing people in the cloud burst incident in Shimla, Mandi and Kulu districts of Himachal Pradesh is underway on for the fourth day today. Total 44 people are still missing in the cloud burst incidents in the state. Out of its 36 people are missing in Samej area of Rampur in Shimla district. In West Bengal, rivers in a large section of Sundarban are having heavy flow of water. Control room has been opened at block and subdivision level. Kerala Health Minister Veena George has appealed to the media not to seek details of the tragedy from children who survived the Wayanad landslide. And that is the end of this news bulletin.